All right, so it's April 17th today, and I just finished filming the uh, the giveaway and announcing the winner. Congratulations again to John Martin, who won the Dalton point that I made. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to... I feel like napping a little bit after that, so I'm just going to work on this piece of Daysite Obsidian that I by face down on the last video, actually. I kind of did this before I finished uh, the giveaway, so yeah, anyways, here it goes. I'll just use, last time when I finished the last video, I said I'd go down to indirect percussion next, but that was a little getting a little ahead of myself which I do sometimes I'm gonna go down to the antler direct percussion next though before that stage Was a nice couple flakes. Feels good to do that right right after the giveaway. Didn't even feel that one. Obsidian is pretty sharp stuff. Nice one. Tiny little overshot there. Real nice flake. Beautiful, actually. <laughs> just love when that happens. And everything just works out so perfectly. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you can tell that that very rarely happens to me. At least not for a whole a piece, you know, start to finish, anyways. There's always something along the way that kind of goes wrong. Like that. That wasn't too bad. This might be a spot where I should use hammerstone actually. It's yeah, kinda thick there. Platform too heavy for antler. Oops, too heavy for stone, too.
a little mistake. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a little too honest sometimes. But I like to think that, you know, honesty is good. I congratulate myself for my good hits as well. When I point out the bad ones, it makes me want to improve, maybe, you know? down here because you know the platforms are so strong I think the antler would have just taken the whole end off you know it just tries to take too much of the platform with it the hammer stone can kind of you know start small and then expand outwards and it's able to not you know take out lipped lipped flakes lipped platform flakes it's kind of a long piece actually I haven't really Worked down a thin biface this long in a while. I know this stuff, this kind of stuff is probably boring sometimes to a lot of you, but, you know, I'm very meticulous about my platform preparation. A little too much sometimes, I know, I acknowledge that. And I'm trying to work on it, you know. I think in the last year my napping has gotten a little faster. less reliant on properly prepared platforms and more able to just kind of adapt as I go 
Gee. I think there's a little bad spot in the stone here. Or maybe it's part of a Hertzian cone from a previous bad flake I made. Kind of see it right there. Hmm. I kind of just wanted this to be a fairly quick video. I can probably go back to. Yeah, I should finish this. Finish the tip first, and then I can go back to antler for the next video. Try to make the tip, you know, relatively consistent and regular before I decide on the final length of a piece. That got rid of the rest of that, but it's pretty ugly looking now. good for that if I can get a big flake out of there yeah let's go for it this can be the last flake of the, of the video no matter what happens it's a little sharp back there Well, I said no matter what happens, but I can't really leave it like that. That was pretty bad. I might have one more chance. Let's go at it with the hammer stone. Should probably use a slightly heavier one, but let's go with this one. <laughs> eh. Ow. Keep cutting myself. Wow. That's three in one video. Anyways, that's where we're at. <laughs> I'm going to go clean the blood off my hands and chill out. <laughs> it's been a pretty wild day. Anyways, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching.
catch you next time. Cheers.